Hi, I'm Chris with Aptera. Today we wanted to show you around the shop. Let me take and show the rest of our facility. This is actually the first vehicle Steve was building in his garage when I first met him. It's made out of uh, sandwich core balsa and was made to have an aero shell over it to give it great aerodynamics. Up here are some of the early concept drawings that we did before we started producing what is the Mark Zero, which we'll show you next. This is the Aptera Mark Zero. It's really the first prototype we built. You've probably seen videos of it on YouTube, uh, zooming around with Kurt driving uh, like a race car driver around our old shop. But it was a very uh, austere vehicle that was really meant uh, just to show people that we weren't full of crap. It's made with uh, really strong composite materials, just like all of our vehicles. So let's show you how these composite materials are built and the people who make it happen. This is one of our composite molds. Uh, we use a unique process to create our composite materials. It's called resin infusion. Everything's laid in the mold dry. We put it under thousands of pounds of vacuum pressure. Then we inject resin into one side of the part and we pull it all the way to the other. This is a completed part right here. And this is actually a bare mold before we lay in the dry materials, bag it, and inject the resin. Here we have some guys working on some of the uh, small interior parts of the Aptera. They're cutting the cloth, laying it in the mold dry, then they'll bag it and they'll inject the resin into it. Hey guys, how's it going? So after the parts are infused, we have to bond them all together. We take the bottom piece and the top piece, clam them together, put it in this alignment jig, bond it, take it out of the jig, and then it goes over to assembly to get rigged with all of its running components. Let's take you to the metal shop now and show you how we make those components. This is our metal fab shop. This is where we make all the suspension components and the things that carry the batteries and the front suspension. Fred's working on uh, one of our crush jigs right now. Um, every part is made in-house. Uh, they're designed over in the CAD department. They're put through finite element analysis to make sure they're strong enough. They're drawn up like the drawings on the walls. They, uh, they come over to fab and they build them up and uh, put them in inventory and that's how we build our vehicles. Uh, interesting side note, the steel vehicle up there is actually the very first prototype we built, even before the Mark Zero, and it was made just to test suspension geometry. It was just to make sure that three wheels were plausible, we could get to the batteries and the drivetrain components, and it was a great mule to drive around and beat up. Now let's take a look at the vehicle crush jig that Fred was making. It's an interesting tool for us because it allows us to test things like roof crush strength, side impact door strength, and many other metrics that we've determined to make sure your Aptera is safe. Now that we've taken a look at the composite shop and the metal fab shop, we should probably really go take a look at what makes this vehicle tick, the electronics. And this is the electronics area. This is where we do all of our battery testing, all of our electrical mock-ups, all of our board layouts. Uh, we create all our own boards for our I.O. system. Uh, Fernando's over here working on some solar cells for the climate control package. Now let's go over and see where the engineers are. This is our engineering department. This is where all the great ideas from Aptera get integrated into a vehicle that you'll hopefully see in your community soon. Over here we have our electrical engineering department. They're working on things like board layout, battery system integration, all the visual displays that we have. Over here in the middle we have our mechanical engineering department. This is where we're working on things like drivetrain topology, the suspension geometry, uh, Miles is our fluid dynamicist here. He's actually running a simulation on the front wheel pant to make sure it's the most efficient thing possible when we go into production with it. Uh, in the back corner there is where Steve, Neil, Mark, and myself sit. Uh, say hi, Steve. Steve, the man behind the dream. Let's go and see the rest of our facility now. This is one of our small meeting rooms and also our copy room. Behind it, we have our war room. This is where we strategize about everything Aptera. Let's finish off our tour by showing you the nursery. And this is our nursery. A lot of our employees have kids, so it's nice for them to be able to come and visit every once in a while. Uh, because we're outgrowing our space, though, often this gets turned into a conference room when vendors come to meet us. Well, that's about it for this inside look at Aptera. We appreciate you joining us. If you'd like any more information about the vehicle, our company, or about upcoming events, please go to www.aptera.com.